Hello everyone. So today let us uh, look into another topic uh, for the first uh, uh, complementary, first semester complementary students, okay? And that is uh, the chemical bonding, okay? So chemical bonding, uh, when the name comes into your mind, uh, basically it is dealing with uh, something called the chemical compounds. Now, if you are asked, what do you mean by uh, compound? Uh, basically, it's easier for you to say that it is basically a combination of two or more atoms that are combining to give a chemical compound. Okay, so if you look into the various elements that you find in the periodic table, you find that except for noble gases, all the elements exist in a compound form because they are not so stable in their free state, except the noble gases, okay? So chemical bonding, this particular chapter, we are going to look into uh, the various chemical compounds and uh, what is the uh, a kind of uh, nature of the combi uh, bond that is actually making these atoms to stay together to form a new compound. So, Basically, we are trying to look into uh, what are the chemical aspects that are holding these atoms together to form a particular chemical compound. Okay, so we are going to look into the types of bonding that holds the atoms in a particular compound. So that is what we are going to deal in this particular topic. And uh, many of you are familiar with this uh, chapter because uh, you have study briefly uh, all these things in your 11th and 12th standards. So let me uh, start with the basic two bonds that actually is involved in the formation of the compounds. So there are two types of bonding. One is your ionic bonding and another is your covalent bonding. Both these uh, are pretty familiar to you. And another type, a subtype of covalent bonding is called as the coordinate covalent bonding. Apart from these uh, bondings that you have, uh, you are very much familiar with, you might have also heard about bondings like metallic bonding, uh, hydrogen bonding, uh, then some other type of interactions like van der Waal interactions or and they are also called as London forces, okay? So all these different bondings you might have heard about. So when I talk about a compound, that means combination of two or more atoms to form a new compound, okay? There, uh, we basically consider two types of bonding and majorly consider two types of bonding, which is ionic bonding and the covalent bonding. However, when it comes to metal, uh, we have a different type of uh, bonding that uh, happens here, which is invariably called as the metallic bonding, uh, which we are not going to study in this particular course that we are going to deal with. Uh, we will be studying briefly about hydrogen bonding, okay? Uh, probably in the, uh, in the end, I'll talk about briefly about what are one London forces or Van der Waal uh, force of interaction. So basically, for when you talk about a compound, only these are the two types of uh, bonding that you need to take into consideration. However, among the compounds, okay, there can be intermolecular interactions possible. And those interactions are actually often uh, denoted by these type of bonding. Uh, one is your hydrogen bonding, another is your van der Waal. Uh, interactive forces, okay? So uh, we will be studying briefly hydrogen bonding and these bonding, but metallic bonding we won't be considering uh, in your course right now. So if I, in general, to start with, I ask you, what do you mean by an ionic bonding? You will quickly say it is basically a loss or gain of electron. So that means uh, in other words, we can say that there is a complete transfer of electrons happening from one atom to another, okay? So when this type of electron transfer is happening, 
leading to formation of a compound, we say those compounds as ionic compounds or uh, the bonding involved in those compounds are called as the ionic bonding. And uh, covalent bonding, in short, can be described as uh, the bonding where you have sharing of electrons happening between the atoms that are combining with each other. Okay, so that is called as the covalent bonding. So whenever uh, there is no complete transfer, but rather it is like a synergistic effect, both atoms are helping each other to achieve a noble gas configuration. Then we say uh, there it exists, what is called as the covalent bonding. Now coordinate covalent bonding is a kind of special bonding. We are not going to study into that uh, there. It basically deals with the coordination compounds. Uh, so here, what happens is that here again, there is sharing of electrons happening, but basically here, the sharing electron is contributed by only one of the atoms. The other atom just utilizes the uh, others um, uh, shared electrons. Okay, So that is why it's called a coordinate uh, covalent bonding. Okay, So in brief, we are going to look into ionic bonding and little bit in detail, we are going to look into covalent bonding where we are going to talk about the various uh, theories that came into picture like Lewis uh, theory and the VSAPR theory or VBT theory and then uh, the current molecular orbital theory. We will be discussing all those things in quite detail when we talk about the covalent bonding. Ionic bonding we'll be discussing very shortly, okay, very in a peripheral manner, we are going to look into the ionic bonding. We are not going to the too much details, okay? Uh, so in the next video, uh, I'll be talking about the ionic bonding. But before I uh, close with this video, let us uh, try to uh, define what do you mean by uh, covalent, uh, what do you mean by a chemical bonding? So it can be defined as it's a phenomena of combination of atoms via either transfer of electrons from one atom to another or sharing of electrons between the atoms. So basically, uh, chemical bonding means it is a phenomena in which two or more atoms combine to form compounds. And how this combining is happening, two ways it can happen. One is there can be a complete transfer of electrons from one atom to another, or it can be sharing of electrons between the atoms, okay? Now, the electrons that are involved in this transfer or sharing are basically the valence electrons, okay? You can add this particular sentence to specify the electrons that you're talking about here is basically the valence electron. Okay. So this uh, definition I gave you here, I just constructed. Okay, you can define it in your own way. Okay, I'll be asking this in a live session and you can uh, tell me how you understood this. You just try to uh, define it in that way. You don't have to strictly follow my definition. Only thing is you should understand what do you mean by a chemical bonding? It's a phenomena where atoms combine to give you a new chemical compound. Now that combination can be via a transfer of electrons from complete transfer of electrons from one atom to another, or it can be via sharing of electrons between the atoms. Now the electrons that are involved in the transfer or sharing are basically the valence electrons. Okay, so I hope uh, you have briefly understood what we are going to do in this particular course. So in the next video, we'll be talking in more detail about the ionic compounds. Thank you for your attention.